Hey everyone, Lee Calvert here with Douglas Elliman Real Estate in Dallas, Texas. Welcome to my What Happened This Weekend, version May 20th to the 23rd. Looking at Dallas, Collin, Tarrant, and Denton County. Uh, what happened over with the real estate statistics. So, here we go. All right, I've got my information here. So we're just gonna go. All right, so. Looking at the active listings, uh, as expected, as usual, Dallas and Tarrant County come in with the most, over both of them up over 200s. Denton and Collin County, uh, 137 and 112. Uh, coming soon's pretty consistent throughout the four counties. Um, the pending sales, more things went pending in Dallas County than anywhere else right now. And considering that, they, you know, when looking at all the numbers, most of the numbers all combined in Dallas and Tarrant County almost double what Colin and Dent are doing. It's just literally going on about the density and the available options for each county. Now, going into the uh, more detailed elements, uh, Dallas County came in with the highest newest listing at nine and a half million this uh, this weekend, and the but the highest average is still Collin County at $722,000. Uh, pending sales, the highest is still Collin County with Tarrant County making a run for it this time versus uh, leapfrogging over Denton. Now the active days on market, it's showing three, normally it's two, but I'm including all of Monday now on these numbers uh, versus just grabbing the uh, weekend new listings. Pending days on market, roughly between 10 days to 20 days uh, throughout the three counties. Again, if it's something that's new, the median days on the market is still in that four to five day range. Closed average, mirroring really the uh, pending times. But the coming down to the, the real meat of the bones of what's going on, the behavior. So throughout the average uh, sale price to listing price, is fairly consistent outside of Tarrant County between 106 to 107, 108% of the sale price. Now, obviously that's the average. The median, uh, Collin County is pretty consistent. Actually, the median is higher than their average at 108.2. Uh, Dallas, slightly below their average at 104. Tarrant County is fairly consistent, 103 to 101, and Denton's also consistent. 105 to 106, the highest that people will pay over, um, fairly you know similar as well actually in the to the 123s, and then Dallas has one at 132 percent. Wow. Anyway, so let's just kind of give you an insight into what's going on behavior wise. So if you're going in and looking at something, maybe you want to be thinking, oh, probably want to be around about seven eight percent over the asking price if you're going to compete with typical behavior in this market still. I mean, so I think it's just really, really smart to be looking at these things when looking at making an offer on your properties. Now, if you wanna know more about a particular area or more details about each county, reach out. If you're looking at trying to buy and you're not making those offers stick, uh, feel free to reach out. We can chat about your strategy and figure out how we get one of those contracts secured. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.